Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Sonara Artiste. Thank you for joining me today. And if you're new, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, okay? I need some subscribers, y'all. Look out for you, girl. So I'm just starting with pushing my cuticles back. You wanna do that with every service. I went out of the frame, I'm sorry. I do that sometimes. Um, I have acrylic on some of my nails still, so yeah. And I had a hanging nail there. Now this video is a little sped up on parts like this that's not really, you know, that detailed. So I'm going in with my sanding bit and I am removing the shine off my nails. And I'm also, um, well, getting some of that acrylic that's left on my natural nail off. So you'll see me working at it like I'm working at it right now trying to, um, you know, get the rest of it off. Now, let's keep in mind that my drill bit is on the lowest setting, okay? You don't want to do this on, you know, on the speed. You want to do this on a low setting because you can cause your nails to burn. Um, it's called rings of fire. Um, too much friction on that nail will heat that baby up and you will be causing you or your client's discomfort, okay? So, I, you know, I'm going to do that to both fingers. Now I'm going in with one of my uh, round cuticle bits. This is my smaller one. And I just wanted to get a little close to, you know, let you guys see how it works. Look at all that. And it's um, a diamond bit, so it's not doing any harm to my natural nail. And once again, it is on the lowest setting. I'm just getting up in that cuticle area and getting rid of any excess skin that I may have. It's a good step and maybe you should try it you never know um it's not needed i would say um but it's optional now i'm just going in and um refreshing some of these cuticles my cuticles aren't bad but um you know it's nice to go in and do a touch up here and there when cutting cuticles, you want to cut the dead skin only, not the live skin. And you also want to stay, um, check with your state to see what regulations they have because everyone does not allow for the cuticles to be clipped at all. Okay? So keep in mind. And I am getting close, but not close enough to cause myself, myself any harm. I'm being very patient with this so I won't cut myself and just be in short any to type of pain. Okay? So, that is there. Next, you will so, see me applying you know. my double tip. I am <clears throat> taking a tip me. that is a step down from the original tip that is on each finger. Out of frame. So, so if you have a four on the top, go in with a five. Okay. So I'm going to do that to all the nails. And then I'm going to blend in the tips and clip them down and... um shape them a little bit before I apply my acrylic and I will be um, dehydrating with ASP and I will be priming with Valentino Pure so that is how I prep my nails and I didn't show you guys I just did it off camera so we can get into the video because I don't I don't know like some people don't really care for long videos and some people like long videos so if you want to see longer videos um let me know in the comments below and if you like the videos short or however they are then let me know oh i guess i did do the prepping okay so today's um products uh, well acrylic products will be brought to you by jc beauty concepts this video is not sponsored. I am not sponsored by anyone. I hope to be though. Um, I just heard a lot of great feedback about their acrylic system and baby. It was that. I just want to let you guys know that their acrylic is so smooth. Like butter is consistent. Listen, if you want to see a review and some swatches, you should check out my video before this one. Okay? And um, I pretty much did some swatches for you guys of some of their products if you're interested in knowing what they have. So I just go in with an initial clear layer when I'm doing colored acrylic. Um, this is good 
In my opinion, this is good for control and lifting. And also, it's great to have that surface for when you want to um, do another design when it's time for a feel or just a, a color change. It'll give you a layer to file back to. So that is great. That way, your clients won't always have to pay for new sets. That is costly. So just keep that in mind. It doesn't take you long to add a clear layer, okay? So just, um, you know, be considerate of your clients, um, you know, because that is how we eat. So it's nice to, um, you know, provide that clear layer for them when they want to change up. And this clear is from JC Beauty Concepts. The whole acrylic system will be. And when I'm um, applying my acrylic, I like to contour my brush around my cuticle area. I get close to it, but I don't get all up on it, okay? So, and if I do happen to have like a little bit of acrylic touch, I will wipe. But sometimes I really just wipe around that cuticle area anyway, just for security. I don't like lifting nails. I like my nails to last a very long time. Um, my nails do last a very long time and that is how I want to keep it so right here I went in with my first bead of the cover blush and I want to say it is very smooth and soft um, but no this wasn't cover blush I'm so sorry this was um, from the pastel collection um, and it <sighs> kind of pissed me off because it had like little black specks inside of the powder and at first I thought my brush was dirty and I was like dang I, I cleaned this brush but as I got to looking deeper into the powder I seen that it had black specks throughout so it was a bad batch and I will be contacting them about that so then I was like hmm, maybe I'll just go in and ombre it so I went in to ombre it with the um, cover blush um, and it really just threw me off with the whole nail design because I um, I wanted the pink. I didn't want to do any ombre or any other color. But um, so you'll see me um, try to work with this and do this set. But I will be doing a marble design instead of keeping it like this. So just look out for that. So my nails is going to be a little thicker, but. That is okay seeing as though they are extra long nails and you see me going around that cuticle area that i stress about very important to clean up i always say sit the bead down pat swipe and wipe and when i say wipe that's your cleanup so you see me flushing that cuticle area out that's very important you don't want to have a thick ugly cuticle area that's not cute nobody likes that you want to keep it nice and flushed So yeah, at this point, I still haven't given up on it. I don't think I even really knew yet, but after this nail, you see how I keep wiping on it? It's that black specks in there that I'm trying to wipe out. I don't like that. So yeah, you guys, that was my life. I'm kind of disappointed about that because I really wanted a certain color. Anywho, I'm going in with that cover blush. My first bead wasn't that big. It was small, actually. And my brush was feeling a little tacky, but I still completed this hand with this brush, even though it was a little tacky. Um, but that's okay. So I'm sorry, guys. I'm ranting. So you go in with another bead above the original one, which is the, I put it um, where the tip and the natural nail meet. And I'm just going in because I wanted more opaque right now. It's looking a little translucent and not full coverage. And I want that full coverage look. I don't want the sheer look. So I am applying as much product as I need in order to make it what I want. So I know you guys can see like where you can still see um, the tip peeking through like it looks white. So I'm going to keep doing that. Now this is like my cuticle area bead. And um, I'm going to go in with a smaller one right above that and flush that area out as well. Like I said, I like to contour my brush around my cuticle area to seal that acrylic in 
It's important to seal the acrylic because you don't want any lifting, you don't want any moisture getting under that surface. And you can also seal the acrylic when you're doing your final um, drilling. So I'm just touching up areas that don't look fully covered to me. And as you can see, so I put my apex bead there and I'm just going ahead and swiping that down. And I'm being very gentle while I'm working with this. I'm known to be a little heavy handed to myself. Nobody ever says it, but I know I can be heavy handed. So I really try to focus on, you know, being a little gentle. And since I didn't like the tip, I feel like it was thin. I did apply a bead at the base and worked it up. Or I should say I worked it back. Now I'm just applying acrylic where I feel I need it. I'm not following any two ball, three ball method here. I'm just applying where needed. I want to tell you guys, do not stress about a two ball, a one ball, a three ball method. Especially when you're doing extra long nails. You just want to apply as needed. So I'm taking my first bead and I'm joining it at the second tip, right? I want to make sure that I add strength there. I don't know if you guys are curious about why I added it so low. And then, as I naturally do, I'm adding a bead where the natural nail and the tip meets. If my nails weren't so long, that's where my first bead would have been. Um, so another bead there, and I'm just stroking it down and, you know, blending it into each other so it won't be lumpy. I want it to be nice and smooth. That way, my filing process won't be so hectic. So, still at this point, I uh, was just like, okay, I'll just do new nails. I wasn't really knowing that I was going to do the marble design yet. So, you see, I did my nails, like, fully. Looking back, would I have changed anything? I'm going to say no because I love the outcome of my nails. So yeah, I'm just cleaning up that cuticle area and flushing it out. As you can see, this cuticle bead right here, I'm just flushing it out nice and gentle, getting it to blend in with the rest of the product. I know you see the way that my brush is like contoured against that cuticle area. That's perfect. So like I said, you want to apply as needed and you always want to clean up, which is very important. You don't want this product getting in the cuticle causing an infection or just causing lifting you want to be pretty anal about it you want to make sure you see how that beat was right up at that cuticle it wasn't in it though and I had my brush actually behind that bead and then you just see me swiping really good to clean that area and I want to get that as a, opaque as possible so you see me adding there it's just a process you guys you want to be patient with this and you don't want to rush you want to take your time and you want to make sure that the passion is there and i'm sorry for going off screen you guys i'm really working on that but sometimes i get so in the zone that i forget that i'm recording um and i really want to produce more quality videos so i will just keep reminding myself to stay in frame <laughs> i'm sorry so for my um, ring finger and my pinky finger, it's going to be glitter nails for um, for bling. So I'm just going in marbling these two colors together. You don't want to overthink this. You just want to pick up a wet bead, pick up another wet bead, and then swish them together. I did allow that to drip, and I seen it coming, but I didn't care, honestly, to tell you the truth. Okay? I'm just going to keep it real. So the white is not JC Concepts. It's um, a old me a secret that I had, and I um, just wanted to, you know, get that strawberry swirl. Like my favorite milkshake is strawberry milkshake, y'all, and I love them. So I was like, I'm just do some strawberry milkshake nails. I think they are freaking adorable. I love my nails so much. I'm obsessed. If you guys decide to recreate this look, please tag me some kind of way and let me know how it turned out let me know i would love to see this look recreated and i just want to be tagged so i can see it and share it if you don't mind so yeah you just want to take the colors and switch them together it's no real thought process you don't want to go overboard though because you don't want it to look like you know basically like shit. i'm gonna just keep it real so taking that that cover blush and I hope I'm saying it right, but I believe it's cover blush. 
I am um, blending it down into the milkshake, okay? So it's like a little ombre, you know, you know. So with me, I feel like everything is pretty repetitive when it comes down to telling you guys what I did on this nail and what I did with that nail. It's pretty much consistent. Just watch the um, process of my marbling or whatever, or I'm gonna call it a swirling. <laughs> Watch my swirling, and if you like the way that my nails turned out, then I would tell you to follow this technique. And you see, I just brushed it up a little bit up there, because I don't want it to be so freaking harsh. I already got enough product on my nails as is, because I wasn't actually doing this design. So I'm still flushing that cuticle area out, regardless of the product that I already have underneath. And I'm also gonna cap those um strawberry swirls milkshake swirls um with clear i don't really um give it too much thought you don't want to um just overthink anything because that would drive you crazy so i went in here and at this point like i knew my brush was sticky as hell but you gotta keep working sis i did some swatches with this brush earlier so don't judge me so, um, yeah, I'm just capping this color and I'm building up the strength and everything with it and just getting everything to blend together. You want to look at this nail from all different type of angles and make sure that everything is covered and well blended together. It takes time. So, with a custom glitter that I made, I'm just going to apply it to both of these nails it's more like a chunky glitter but it's cute as hell but i um chose this glitter because i knew that i was going to be putting different color um Swarovski crystals on and i didn't you know just in case i didn't cover an area because these are junk nails i just wanted to have you know something glittery and blingy underneath just in case to fill in any blanks which is good. You also don't have to have a glitter um, acrylic. You could just build that nail up and then use like a glitter polish or a metallic polish and then go in and do your bling. So keep that in mind just in case because I know some people are just starting out and they don't have everything that they would like. So I don't want you guys to stress. And I'm also thinking about doing a video to let you know everything you need to start out with doing your nails or um taking clients and i'm gonna give y'all some free game about doing that like my main thing about when people start doing nails you need to let people know that you are practicing because people don't pay they don't play about their money y'all y'all need to let people know especially if you're really inexperienced and you are still having problems with your nails popping off and shaping and all type of stuff you need to let people know so I do go in and I cap this glitter. So I'm just taking that clear, I'm sorry if I'm going on a frame, which I am a little. And I'm just walking it down. And I wanna let you guys know that um, in order to um, be sure that your nail is encapsulated, you will know because what's underneath will go matte, okay? So if it's not matte, just take another layer it don't have to be really thick but you'll know because it'll go matte so if you just watch here you see how that glitter is mattifying that's how you know it's covered and i want to say like even if i work runny with this jc beauty concepts like if i work really wet it's still not runny like me a secret and i've used me a secret ever since i learned how to start nails and well, ever since I learned to do nails, I don't know why I say that. And that's just been my go-to. So, yeah, I am redefining my shape. I am using a 100-100 grit by McCart. I did purchase this on Amazon, and I will leave the link to all the products that I use below. Um, if I forget anything, just ask me in the comments. If you don't, you know, if I miss something, just ask me in the comments, and I will gladly let you know what product it was and where you can get it. I don't mind sharing. 
so yeah doing the same thing to all the nails trying my hardest to get my shape right because you guys know when doing your own nails it's kind of like difficult to get your shaping right so i kind of just don't follow like the real rules i just kind of make it work for myself until i get the desired shape that i want or close to it as possible doing your own nails is not as easy as you may think especially when you're doing your other your predominant hand which i will be doing in a separate video because it's going to be a different style of nails so yeah i'm just um making sure i'm holding that nail because it is kind of painful to file keep that in mind when you're doing you or a client so yeah i'm just applying pressure I don't want that foul to slip and cut me or just cause an extra stress to my nails. No points. So, yep, just working that foul. And if you guys hear my daughter in the background, she is up with me and she is watching PBS Kids on her tablet. Yeah, I know, guys. I'm going out of frame like crazy. I'll be in the zone. I'm not going to lie. I be in a zone. I need to remind myself. Okay, so I'm going in with the fine ceramic bit. Um, I got this a while ago from Amazon. And I'm just getting up in that cuticle area until I see my natural nail and my acrylic nail and my cuticle. When I want to see my natural nail, I don't want a big gap. I just want it to be like a hairline away from my cuticle and my artificial nail. That way, I'm sealing in my acrylic and I won't have no lifting. And so I'm just going around with the body of my drill bit and debulking and scoping and contouring with that until I'm happy still going back around that cuticle area is just good insurance to make sure that cuticle area is correct and ready okay quality is everything so yeah just the bucking and i'm going to do the same thing to each finger so i'm only recording the two fingers because i did it to each finger <laughs> So, yeah. And you also can go up under that nail for any cleanup that you may need. So keep that in mind, okay? I always start with going around the cuticle area first. That's just my thing. It's just how I've always done it and how I probably always will do it. So, yeah. And be careful um, with doing this. If you're new to using the drill, don't go fast. Your speed don't need to be nowhere over 15,000 RPMs. You can actually achieve this on a very lower setting than 15 RPMs. Try 10 or if you're really inexperienced with drill, try like uh, 8. So I popped in. My camera um, had died and I didn't realize it. And I already had started going in with bling, so I did um, charge my phone and wait on you guys. So I just went in with some different shapes and colors, and I'm using Gorilla Glue Gel, y'all. Get that. I mentioned in my other video, I still have all the products, the expensive shit, you know, the gel resins, this, that, and the third, Zule, this, that, whatever. I don't give a fuck because you know what? This right here, okay, y'all. This right here. It's the truth. Your stones will not go anywhere until you are ready. And I've said that before about another product, but baby, first of all, it's Gorilla Glue. So y'all know it's going to dry fast. And you know it's strong. And you know it's going to be efficient. So trust me, rock with your girl on this tip, okay? This is a good and expensive tip too. And you can get this on Amazon and in your local Walmart. And you can get the brush on one too. Um, it's nice, I like it, it does it for me. I don't have any problems with any stones falling off. Like, it's a pain in the ASS to get off, but y'all, 
It's so freaking good. That's all I'm going to say, okay? And it does uh, work well with um, the nail drying spray. Like, you know, like if you had like the Mia Secret um, resin spray, like it works good with that. So I'm sure it would, it would work good with like hurry up and dry and all that. <clears throat> so yeah. And I know I talked a lot. I talked through this whole video. So I'm just going to leave y'all with this. As I should have said, I shouldn't even have did all this, but whatever. It's too late now. Um, after I'm done filling in with all these different shapes and sizes, I'm just going to top coat my nails with some D and D top coat, and I'm going to secure them. And then I'm just going to cuticle oil me and come back with the reveal. I thank you guys so much for joining me and watching me and taking the time to just sit here and listen to all my talking. And this and the third, and I hope that you will like this video and you will also comment on this video. And most importantly, you will also subscribe and turn on those notification bells. I am trying to drop at least two videos per week. So thanks for rocking with your girl, y'all. And I'll see you next time. Bye.